If HelloFresh was a staple in my kitchen before, it's a must have nowadays. Check out America's number one meal kit and get 12 free meals, including free shipping. When you use code unfiltered12 at hellofresh.com slash unfiltered12. Thank you, HelloFresh. All right, so before we start the episode, uh, drum roll, please. We got new flavors, baby! All right, uh, so the first flavor we have here is the uh, sweet butter hazelnut. Um, it's nice and sil silky, smoothy, rich, and hazelnut. It's just everything you want that was, in a hazelnut. That was coffee. one of the that was one of the flavors a lot of you guys were asking for. Yeah. He came up with the name sweet butter hazelnut, mm, which I love know. so much. It just it's it kind of matches what mm -hmm. we would fucking say. And then we also have the decaf uh, flavor for people. It's not a flavor, but it's just decaf for people that don't like caffeine in their cup. Right. So, so it's going to be the uh, same flavor as our house blend, um, yeah. just without the caffeine. Exactly. So. And I. I actually mainly did this because my mom kept asking for it. She was like, I, I can't drink your coffee, baby. I need decaf. So I was like, then we got to do decaf. She, they're like, I thought you asked us what we wanted. No, right. my mama just wanted this, so I made it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we hope you guys like it. Make sure to check it out. We also have all of the flavors now in the bag format. So get the uh, coffee grinds and your pods. For you babies that don't have Keurig machines, mm -hmm. and a lot of you guys don't. So we made sure that we have bags in all the flavors. Um, but yeah, so make sure to go to Cremota.com, check it out, get it for yourself, and uh, share with a friend. Thank you. We love you. I think some people were very mixed about the one time I got my teacher fired for drinking during class. I Old. think a lot of people were on your side about that. You think I think so? a lot of people yeah. thought you were a snitch. It was my teacher and she was drinking alcohol. If my teacher was giving me C's and I found out she was right, drunk but if she every was cool, class. It'd be okay. Shoot. Yeah, but she wasn't but she wasn't cool. Shoot. No! Son of a you didn't just, even get the start yet, Matt. Shoot! What happened? At least it's not <gasps> coffee. It's, it's oh no, it's right. gray. Oh no. Oh darn it. Oh no. Uh, Wait, it kind of fell right off. That's good quality. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a oh, oh, shout I him out. This sweater. <laughs> stay cool. <laughs> yeah, Matt, stay cool. Stay cool <laughs> and stay dry. <laughs> All right, put, put the mic on your face. Okay. Jeez. On your face. Amen, I'm so sorry that I, I got this shirt. <laughs> I got this sweater wet. I'm sorry. I mean, well, that was a shitty intro. I guess we'll go into the intro then. It's yeah. coffee towel, baby. <laughs> now that's how you do it. <laughs> Happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday, happy Thursday, whenever you're watching this. Happy day to you. Baby, because we get views every single day. Y'all exactly. keep it coming. Exactly. Whenever you watch it. I'm yep. Mariah. <laughs> and that's Matt. Oh, I'm Heath, Matt, Mariah, Zane. Welcome back. Yes, I'm Zane. The first, like, imagine someone tuning in this episode for the first time. They're just like, what the fuck this is show this? Sucks. Oh, Next? Yeah. They got this set, but it's be... run like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, welcome back to Zane and Heath and Folder. Yeah, there we go. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Y'all, yeah. I'm feeling it today. Feeling Why? the alcohol? Feeling no, I got vaccinated yesterday. Ooh! I got the big backs. I am backs and wax. Very good. And it wasn't the the two dose one. It was the two in one. It was the Johnson and Johnson. We should come out with Cremota vaccines. That'll be fun. There should be a superhero called the Vaccinator. <laughs> oh shit, that's not a bad idea. It sees a good. sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> no, can stop all the germs. So how'd you get? Cool. How, like, did you get an email? Like, how'd you know that you were able to get a vaccine? In Long Beach, they opened it up for people who work in the entertainment industry. And so a friend texted me and was like, was you're informed. eligible for Must it. Must be nice, Matt. Yeah, I wasn't informed either. And I have a really good There were like, very doctor. few limited availability. Why did you get it and not us? Because Mike just texted me the link and said, here it is. Oh, so it was Mike. That man, that man gets everything. He's well connected. The Tell Johns. us the process. Though. Okay, so we drive down to Long Beach. We get the vaccines. And I, I, I'm fine with shots. Like, I can handle yeah. them. You know, I'm, I like to hum when I get a shot. You know, like, hmm. Okay. Because I just, I don't know. I'm not scared of them, but Do you it keeps look at me, it? like, steady. What? Do you look at it? No. I, cannot I can't look, look at, at it. it. This, no, is, no, this is what no, I do no, when no, I get no, a no. shot. I look up and go, ah! And it's because if I'm loud. Do you really? Oh, it yeah, just I don't, your I, brain. Yeah, I don't, yes. like, feel it when, I'm, <laughs> like, when I scream. You don't scream that loud. I do. I do. As Devin, I scream every time he injects me with the shit that I'm taking. Uh, <laughs> you should try humming. Zane, <laughs> he injects me with the whatever I'm taking. The shit. Well, uh, that but, sounded really bad. <laughs> yeah, the shit that I'm injecting. Just, none of you need to know about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, when Patricia like plucks my my unibrow, I like hum during that because that hurts. I can look at the shot. I usually look if I get a shot. Oh, donating blood. Oh, oh yeah, I can look. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it's it. like looking when you're kissing somebody. Just <laughs> eyes open. The touch is like it's illegal. Oh. 
<laughs> Why uh, you sir. So we got the shot, and then we had to sit in a parking lot and um, wait for about 15, 20 minutes to see if you had any uh, allergic reaction. And they said, if you do have a reaction, honk your horn. <laughs> What, what in the world? I Imagine just every more, car. I'm just like. <laughs> they don't know who oh, it's coming that's, from. That's crazy. Okay. So yeah, but we get home and it's expected you may experience a few side effects. You yeah. may um, experience a headache, chills, body aches. And I was feeling pretty fine. Um, all of a sudden, Mike was like, yo, I got to go home. I'm, I need to like lay down. He wasn't yeah. feeling good. Yeah. And I was like, oh, dude, you're overreacting because... I don't know. I was like, maybe it's just affecting you worse. Go home and rest. Then all of a sudden, right before I went to bed, it hit me hard. Like I felt oh. like my bones were like heavy metal. Like they were made out of lead. I oh. couldn't move oh. them. Yeah. Do you have to take like two shots? Because I heard you. it's like two. You have to take one. That's the Moderna one. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's been my past 24 hours. You guys we're up on a hot air balloon, and I am feeling just as run down as you are. Yeah, he. I didn't. I didn't even want to bring it up to you today because, like, that looked fucking terrifying. I don't know how you yeah. did that. Was that a last minute like decision you both made? Like, what? How um, did you get there? So our our friend, uh, you, you know Vince. Um, he's a <laughs> skydiver, <laughs> and he owns Hubble Studios. Right. Right. Uh, so him and his buddy uh, wanted to skydive out of a hot air balloon. That was a not skydiving. That was a base jumping off a hot air balloon. <laughs> but yeah, he was just like, we're, we're taking a hot air balloon up if you guys just want to go for the ride. And uh, Mariah was like, I've never been. I want to go. Let's do I've it. I've always wanted to do it. I also didn't want to look like a, a bitch. Um, oh, and he's done it before. I, I actually. He's done it before. Wait, skydiving or a hot air balloon? Both. Jumping Both. off a hot well, yeah. air balloon. In a no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I actually went in a hot air balloon in Egypt. And it wasn't like super high or anything like that. It was just like a normal uh, height. I, I think like a f maybe a thousand feet. Okay. And I was still freaking out. Like I just didn't like it. Hot air balloon. Right. I, I, don't I like just it. don't like the fact that there's no steering. There's no controlling. It's literally you go where the wind blows you and you go up or down. And then you land wherever. Yeah. Like there's no landing place Come for hot again. air balloons. That's yeah. what he was saying. It was just so a big walk open field and he was like crossing the freeway. We were, we were like literally just... feet from smashing into a tree and power lines. And he was like, and oh, he had we to like go gas up. it real quick and like pump flames up into it to get a little bit higher to clear it. People have Fuck died up. on hot air balloons. So listen yeah. to Amanda this. Bynes dad, uh, Amanda Bynes' dad, Amanda Bynes' mom. Remember? Moody's point. Yeah, you're, you're, you're talking about us. I say I can't even believe you know Dude, that. All I think about every time I see a hot air balloon, Wait, I, it what? reminds me of Some that shit show. Just sticks There's, with you. Okay, Moody's point. You don't remember Amanda, Moody's Amanda Bynes show? Do you yeah. remember she had all of her little sketches and segments? Yeah. There was always a segment called Moody's point. Yeah, and it was yeah, and it was Amanda who's like at her aunt's house and she's all upset, <laughs> but her real mom is on a hot air balloon still and it's just, stuck, and she's like Moody. <laughs> Oh Moody. my yes. god! Like it never, it never came Zane, down. That's what you remember <laughs> of all the things in life. That's what you don't think that I tank see. ever went out. You know what I mean? Like oh that air, hot air balloon gosh. just like stayed up there. Well, like, as kids, we didn't think about that, but <laughs> now I'm just like, where the fuck is Moody points his mom? Um, but yeah, they can't control it. It just goes wherever the wind blows it, and you can just go up or down. And uh, I went up in Egypt, and it was terrifying. Just. They say it's relaxing, but I don't think it is. I was relaxed. You're literally in a fucking apple basket, and you're just, like, looking over the that edge. That basket was so much bigger than I thought it would be. I literally was like, how many people are we bringing? It's oh. wick. Like, it's literally woven. Wicker. Yeah. How, how wicker. big is it? They said the, the basket fits 20 people. Like, what? Okay, what does 20 people mean? Like, you're packed in, like, sardines? It means, like, there's little it... pockets. Like, it's one big basket, and it's divided into, like, six <laughs> the, slots. Yeah. It's, you... right, it's like a backflip. <laughs> Back up, back up. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was so cool. She's like, I need to know my dimensions. I do something crazy. In space. That that TikTok would crush. Oh, Imagine yeah. you could land in someone else's property. Yeah. So some guys would be like, Ch -ch -ch get off my yeah. lawn! Like, what are you doing oh, yeah. out in here? Pen in Pennsylvania, it's an invasion. In Pennsylvania, there was a hot air balloon that landed in our neighborhood. They didn't have a choice but to land in the street. <laughs> like, so, and there's not crazy. a law where it's like you can't just land your hot air balloon anywhere you want. I don't it's know like, how it I think even they is still the a, area. It, it feels so 
I don't want to say medieval, but so medieval that like, why? First of all, why was it fucking ever invented? (laughs) Was it was it transportation? Was it for fun? (laughs) Like, we're we're fine. You you know what I mean? Like, where are we going? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) It's it's for the aesthetic because it looks pretty in the sky, but it's not pretty being in the fucking. What's the origin of the hot air balloon? I I bet it's for weather or seeing distances to see when. People in battle were coming. Sounds about right. You, you know what when I mean? was the first yeah, and then they shoot down your balloon. Of, <laughs> yeah. When was the first hot air balloon like created? <laughs> it's when it's how Dorothy Should got we, home, right? No. What? She, did, she wore a crown and came down in a bubble. bubble dog. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold Dorothy. On. Dorothy gets Her into a. Her sister was a witch. <laughs> the Wicked Witch of the West. But Abyss, hear me out, Abyss. Dorothy. Oh, shit. <laughs> there's a hot air balloon in Wizard of Oz, right? And what? she thinks she's going home, and then Toto leaves, and she has to get out of the the hot air balloon. Oh, and the Munchkins are like, "It's leaving. Devin, you should have got on." Devin, what do you think? Yeah, we gotta look. We gotta look, look this up. up. I did look up. The first hot air balloon is 1783. Oh, oh my god! god. The country, the country got founded, and they were like, "Let's make some hot air balloons." <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it one with my own eyes, but it's bigger Dude, than it's I think gigantic. it is. It's so it's much big, bigger okay. than yeah. I thought. So they, much bigger. Fuck. Did they let you pull the the, the what? thing? They I don't let know. Us the, the, the horn. Hit the flame. Oh, the yeah, to hit the flames. We could touch it. Is there just like a little image of Dorothy going in the hot air balloon? Oh shit, what? Matt's right. Ah, there was oh, a hot air balloon. Oh right. my god! Damn it! You know why? Because oh, it's not in the sky. It's like oh, in the oh, middle oh. of a building. They they couldn't afford the airplane yeah. budget. Oh, <laughs> you're right. You're right. I totally yes, because Toto hops out and she can't. She loses her trip home. Yo, what? that's why your hot air balloon looked like today. Just that's what it felt like. Janky. Sorry, Matt. It's okay. <laughs> Y'all looked at me like I was crazy. Because you are crazy. I don't even remember that scene in uh, that either. movie. So you guys get up there and your buddies right. decide we're going to jump. Right. So They're first certified, of all, so I they didn't want to say themselves. this, but going up, I, I had previously gone in Egypt and found <laughs> out a week afterwards that there was an, uh, a hot air balloon accident. And there was like a... A failure, something. The one that wrong. happened in Texas, where like ten no, people in died. Egypt, in Egypt, where oh. I went and did it, the exact same spot. There was a huge accident, and I, there was one in 2013 where like 19 people died, and then oh another one right after I had just did it. Fuck that. Um, and I don't know if I, I think like maybe one person died, like, but it was another bad accident. So like in my head, I'm like, holy shit! Like, it, there, there's just nothing you can do. Like. Something goes wrong, you just, you plummet. Oh, fuck no, baby! <laughs> so in my head, I'm thinking about this the entire time, and I'm just like, I don't want to do this. And everybody's like, we're going We were up. popping champagne, I was like, what champagne? Is I'm so- fucking sitting in the bottom of the bucket. Are you telling Mariah this, no. or are you staying strong? I stayed, You're, okay. I, I didn't say anything. Yeah, but if he told me that before, I still would have went up. I don't I don't know, I just have a lot of trust. I, I was, I'm was. i more scared of a plane than a hot air balloon. The du- uh, what? Because the think- dudes hooking it up looked like carnies, though. Oh. How can you trust a hot air balloon more than a fucking plane? Well, I, I don't know what I expected. I don't know if I expected turbulence or something i have no idea it was so still i could have closed my eyes and not felt like i was moving it was so still it didn't even rock if you walked around okay Did they have like the sandbags aren't there always like bags yeah, of sand yeah, yeah, yeah. i was like what's going on there because when they jump when they skydive it we shot up well not oh, like the fast, not fast. The weight, yeah. right. so do you have to like pull the bags up he just like let it ride no you just you have to let the the hot air i guess yeah. just kind of like simmer Oh, <laughs> it was so calm and cool. But when and we, we were the up sunrise. there, it was gorgeous. It was really peaceful and pretty. I loved it. Yeah, right. But also it was terrifying. quiet too. Quiet. Yeah, like death. Death but is quiet. Suck. As we were up death there, um, they were like, "Okay, we we got to do this quick because he was getting calls on the radio. Like, there's two Amazon 747s coming in <laughs> in 15 minutes. He was so um, calm. We need to get up and down before they get here. Am- <laughs> Wait, Amazon's making planes? Now? I guess like Amazon shipments coming in on oh, planes. Oh, okay. Um, and he's like, "We got to get up and back Fuck. down before they start coming through." And I was like, could you imagine a wing just ripping <laughs> through the side of your balloon? Shit. I wanted a parachute just as a safety precaution. Yeah. Did the buddies like hesitate at all? Like, I'm always like curious. You see the videos of guys who are like, oh, we're skydiving. We're jumping off. I'm like, are they ever like, are you... yo, you still like, want to do this? Your friends thing? are here. Let's like, okay, just do it now. Like, are they. 
They no. seemed so chill they about were so, it. They, were like, they climbed over and they were like, are you ready, bro? One, two, three. Two, three. <laughs> yeah. Wild. I mean, Vince has been going to, like, he went to, like, classes for that shit. Yeah, he, he did it, like, over, so times. like, 30 yeah. times, right? Like, by himself? Yeah. If I was, like, 15 years old and he asked me to go skydiving, I'd be like, 100%. Now I'm like, no. Have you done it? You've never done it? No. Uh, and now I kind of have no desire to. You should it's, do it once. You'll not, be glad uh, you did it. Sure. Sure. Because make, I, I went twice. Make and it I'm happen. Like, I was like. I'm not, but, like, the thing is, someone has to be like, we're skydiving today. I signed I'm not up. going to. <laughs> Open up the phone book and look up a skydiving place. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I will say you can get to the place. Like I kind of got dragged into it. I didn't want to. And skydiving? Yeah. Uh it was with Elton. No, we're doing it. Ah, fuck it, Liz. Let's go. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I'll just go and play it off and see see where it goes. And then it didn't hit me until we were in the plane going up. And then you're like watching yourself get higher, and there's no turning back. Yeah. You can turn back. But it looks really bad when you don't jump off that plane. Especially when everybody goes before you. Yeah. It's weird because I wanted to back out when we were up there. And I I saved the embarrassment. I was like, this is going to be so embarrassing if I have to come down in this fucking plane. And that plane was so scary. Dude, I don't want to be. I didn't want to be in that plane for another second. The door is like rickety, open. made of aluminum. Just it the, feels like it's going down. Have it's you like, seen the video of the two skydive planes that collided? And oh, the people are getting thrown out. Collide. What, like those sky dancer people, or they? No, the plane is like people are jumping out, and then another plane hits the skydive plane, and bursts into flames, and people are being like flown out Whoa. the side of the. Oh, the, hold the on! Plane. I thought that the clip was the plane flying right under it. And they almost hit, but like the the skydiver is jumping out, it, it like freaked them out, and they all like no, they collided. Okay, so th it, that's I, a different video. Though. How long are about. you falling for? You're fa skydiving a minute and a uh, half. Like a minute what? and a half. Depends. That's it? it depends on how high you jump from. That's it. No, Mariah. If like you know exactly, I'm it's thinking a lot you have of... a whole like day of <laughs> well, <falling. laughs> day of fall. you would pass out. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. I, I bet you'd be so good at it though. Uh, like in the Power I, I Rangers, you flip, Mariah. You have to pull the chute. Yeah. <laughs> the least scariest part of skydiving is the falling part. It feels, I heard it feels like nothing. Like, it feels like nothing. But as soon as the parachute opens and you're I sitting hate, there, I hate being under the canopy. Yeah, and you're just like oh, that's the wow. worst. Because like, okay, it's cool. boring. Because it, it's boring. No, no. Because no. it deployed and you're like, cool, I'm safe. But then you're like, I'm still two thousand feet in the air, oh. and we're going down slow. Oh, it's slow now, right? Yeah. And then, oh wow. I went with like a guy, so like you have to go tandem at first, and he like, dude. I hated it. The guy thought he was like Mr. Cool. He was like a younger dude. And he's like, we're going to do some turns here. And I was like, okay, we'll turn around. I'll look behind me. And he goes, whoo. And the whole thing oh, fuck just that. starts spinning. Dude, the G-force that you feel. Like, you're like this. <laughs> and you have spinning. this other man right behind you. You're like a baby. Like being like cradled on another man's <laughs> chest. So and you're like, save it me, is Papa. Awful. And you know he's not feeling any of that because you're in front of him. So you're taking all <laughs> that fucking g -4. He's just like on the back of your head. Just... <laughs> Did you see the, the 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 grandma that was jumping out and she slipped down oh. into? Oh, bro, have you seen that? <laughs> it's yeah. fucking insane. It it, I don't yeah. know. Half I her body it. was out of the fucking Dude, lane. Dude, she's hold like her. It, it's catching her by the elbow and the the back of her knees, and her whole body is hanging out the bottom. It was unbelievable. But she Literally, was like, was she, she was like ninety. Trapped? So uh, like, she, she lived her life. Holding onto her instructor for dear life. I just held on. <laughs> You do what, it, what you I got to do, you know. Oh, Zane, here's the, the plane crashing. No, what are we? Okay, yeah, welcome yeah. to Unfiltered. Where are we watching? <laughs> he was happen? a pilot. Did one of the pilots like pass out or something? How the fuck did he jump first? <laughs> Just miscommunication. Mis yeah, miscommunication. Yeah. Completely, Mariah. That's what I was going to say. It was, Thank it was you, miscommunication. Shut, <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. I was like, mouth. let's just stretch this out. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. And to, and to piggyback off of what Mariah <laughs> just said about miscommunication, I think that was completely fundamental in this accident. And we right, really I totally that. agree. We, 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 I totally Sorry. No, we, <laughs> Aw, Zane. Zane's trying to move the needle. <laughs> that, I think Mariah that, really hit the nail on the head with that I'm one, trying not to and... interrupt Mariah because people say we interrupt Mariah. <laughs> Exhibit A. I don't even notice it. That's probably that's probably not good. So what was it? Like four days ago, I went to get some food with Todd. And uh, Todd and Natalie went to do something. I forget. But I was waiting outside. And I see this car parked outside of the place and the window was down you know the dog was safe and the the dog was the cutest dog and i go up to the door i'm like oh hi 
just like literally just saying hi. And then I back, I back up a little bit and then I'm just like on my phone. This girl gets up, goes, huffs at me, grabs her dog and goes back to where she was sitting and eating. Because she thought I was going to like take her dog. She thought I was stealing him because I like sat. Oh I was like standing gosh, there the just dramatic. around the dog. And I felt like I just wanted to go up to her and be like, hey, look, I wasn't trying to steal your dog. I'm not a dog napper. Yeah. But like I did. I wonder if and she she maybe thought like you were about to like break the window and like call the cops about leaving a dog in the car. She Why huffed she at huff? you? Yeah. That's She's like, like kind of the, what, what kind of huff was it? Probably like a. Like a. Like, like a. Like a just. <laughs> How's it going? Okay. <gasps> Wait. Let's do top ten puffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At number nine, we have Julianne. Yeah, yeah. Do, <laughs> do she, it, was, it was kind of like she was. It was kind of like a walk by me and just went, and then just like pulled out her dog. I guess it wasn't a huff, but like her, her, um, her, demeanor. the way she was acting, her demeanor was was a huff. Okay. Um, Mariah, you said that you had a something that very interesting that happened to you. Yeah, Mariah, what was the thing you said that was? I'll tell you, Matt. To piggyback, to piggyback you, off of what you're asking, yeah, yeah, just um, that. let's let's, uh, <laughs> let's um change the narrative. Yeah, um, can we just pivot? If the you don't mind, if, I, uh, <laughs> if you don't mind, if I jump in real quick, yeah, 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 yeah. Just jumping in here. Um, I hear you. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> However, okay. um, all right. Anyway, all right. Shut and the scene, fuck like, up. Shut the off. hell up. <laughs> oh, let me just like give like a rundown. So the house that we live in, it was built in 1931, and I'm like a historical freak like i love um history and dust who stepped footwear dust yeah, yeah. we just want to find the old floorboard and pick yes. out an old I'm, cigar box and yes open it up and there's an old watch you yes know? <laughs> yes and i want to know who wore it and i want a picture of who wore it and just <sighs> yeah yeah anyway doesn't matter who it is just right moving into this house i was like I really like Googled like hiring a historian. I was like, I want to know because there's a lot of history in the neighborhood and stuff. And I wanted to know because it's a very unusual house. Yeah. I just want to know the history of it and what the layout used to be and stuff like that. I've been begging since day one. Never got around to it. What are the odds? The other day, Heath and I are pulling out of the driveway and these three women are, are standing outside the house taking pictures. And we're just like, what the hell? Who are these people like taking pictures like of the house? Like very like like arm through the gate like taking pictures and like arm and through I, the gate. Yeah. I did like a loop around and I was like that was really weird. Like, are, are people trying to get in right now? Kind of mm -hmm. like when people were taking pictures of the Breaking Bad of Breaking Bad House. Just like yeah. just people were like, which I've been to. <laughs> You're yeah? not taking yes. those pictures. Don't go. Don't go to the Breaking Bad House. The though. lady I heard is crazy. They that sit out there. in their front yards at the Breaking Bad House and will just get mad if you get close to it. It's then crazy. Don't, buy, don't it. buy the house. Then it's so crazy. You, to me they should have sold it. It should have sold it completely. <laughs> yeah, they low key like it. Yeah, uh, yeah, they must. They must like. They gotta like love it. yelling at everybody walking up. Ugh. They have to. That's what I think. Okay, back to what yeah, you were saying. Sorry. Right. Um, so we're pulling out of the driveway. They're taking pictures. Heath loops around and I rolled down the window and we were like, oh, like, hi, can we help you? And they're like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so sorry. This is really weird. I lived here in the 70s. <gasps> and I was like, what? I looked at Heath. I was like, this is not happening right now. This is not, you don't understand. Like I have been begging, like, what are the odds? Because I Googled the address. It doesn't come up online. Like nothing comes up about this house. Um, you're, you're like, hop in. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the hop in the, hop uh, in the wait, truck. No. So what happened? So, wait. So uh, we're like, oh, yeah, feel free to take pictures, whatever. And she was like getting not emotional, just like excited. And she was like, I lived here when I was five years old and telling us about the house. And Heath and I looked at each other and we were like, it's go time. And we were like, do you want to just come inside? And she was like, oh, <gasps> she, she was freaked. like, she yes, was so yes, excited. Please, please. Yes. And she was like, can I take pictures? Can I take videos? Because the house that I was born in, I would kill to knock on the door and mm -hmm. go and be like, can I please just stand inside? And, and, not, and not have it be weird. Right, and not right. have it be weird, right. So, and this happened, like, yeah. I feel like that so, should be customary. Like, that's, that's crazy. Like, like some yes. sort of respect that right. you, like, kind of owe it to them. Granted, right. you probably got to go in and clean your bong out from sitting <laughs> on your table. Be like, can, can we do this later in the it's afternoon? It's like when the landlord shows up. Yeah, yeah. 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 They come in this room, they start crying because they're like, you ruined it. <laughs> and there was a wallpaper <laughs> of little ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. Like, so she lived there when she was five. So she was taking videos and pictures for her parents and her older sisters to like debunk what it did look like. Everything outside's original. The uh, the deck is not original. The kitchen was extended. She came inside. The one thing she really freaked out about 
our bathroom, most of our bathrooms are updated. Yeah. Our master bathroom is floor to ceiling blue tile. Yeah. Like clearly like That's original. That's been like that. Right. You yeah. And it confirmed that because as soon as she stepped in, she freaked out. She, she like, was started like, getting like, oh she my like gosh, started like my sister and up. I used to pretend like we were in space in this bathroom and we used to sit here and here. And I was like, Whoa. oh, like just, I was getting chills for her. Like I was so excited. I had no, these three strangers in my house, like freaking out. She couldn't remember where her bedroom was, but we did find out that like the room that we're sitting in now, um, this was extended to the kitchen. It was like there was more room. Yeah. Oh, so that like whole the kitchen, kitchen was, like, is extended further in, and then yeah. there was bedrooms where like the deck, like oh, the door I can so see she that. didn't recognize Weird. like this corner because I think this whole area was different. But the backyard and the guest house, she was like, this is, she said, there's a, we have a brick fireplace in the guest house. And she said, I have a Christmas card in front of this fireplace in the seventies. She has to show so, you this. Yeah. Card. So right now they're on vacation. They're going to Palm Springs for the week. So when she gets back, I think they're from Iowa. When she gets back, she's going to send me pictures. But as of right now, she sent me a picture from when her parents sold the house from the, uh, it's the outside. Crazy. Can we show she the picture? Yeah. Yeah. Screw Whoa. home renovation shows. I want to see I want to see shows yeah. where people just like show up at right. revisiting their old homes. And that show pictures be, of what it, like, like she was walking around like, "Oh my god, this is so weird." Like, you know the front little fountain by the front door? Yeah. She was like, "This is so weird. Like this used to be a huge pond." And she oh. said the, the I'm so you guys yeah. missed them just by like that I moment. I know if anything and we were taking our time that day to so get out weird. of the house. She like, comes yeah. back, Perfect she starts timing. crying. She's like, "Guys, I'm so sorry. This isn't the house. It was next we found out. We found out it's not. What's house. crazy? She kept going on about like who used to be in the area. So I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. Juice. Uh, Juice <laughs> Newton used to live in this house. Who's Juice Newton? Do you know who like Juice a, Newton is? Like an old oh, an singer. Juice Newton. Let's yeah. let's listen to a Juice Newton song. Hold on. I'm kidding. And then the neighbors were pretty much the whole cast of Happy Days. I don't know if you she guys was like have seen the Fonz. The Fonz used Fonz to live across, across the street. The street. Oh, uh, oh, Henry Henry uh, Winkler. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he. I, wait, he, I saw him at Trader Joe's. When really? I, what? I saw him right here. I saw Henry Winkler at the Trader Joe's. Right. You here. saw Henry, dude. Oh. It's like seeing a fucking cartoon wait, character. Wait, when? In real life. Maybe like a month ago. Oh my I'm gosh! Sure. So he's still in the area. Does he yes. still live across the street? Oh my god. Wait. Oh my he posts God. TikToks. Oh, weird. I love it. Yeah, he's got he's angel, Wait, Angel in the Morning? 38. Juice Newton lived in this house? Yeah. Oh, yes! don't call me Angel in the Morning, morning Angel! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> that's so sick! I never knew that's who, what, like, like That's what Shaggy's that. Angel is based on. Like, oh, yes, don't call yes, me yes, Angel. Right, You're my right, dog. Right. So call me Angel in the Morning. She walked this house. <sighs> she lived here. Holy shit. That's, That's so wild. cool. She walked these halls. She oh pooped in these toilets. <laughs> Mariah hears her at night. Oh, she's, hold on, she's alive. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's he, crazy. He's getting ready in the mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> That Whoa. is so to know that she was in our master bathroom because that's like the most yeah. original part of the house. Juice Newton, if getting you <laughs> ready in our. What? Is there? You guys need to reach out to her. So also, she said when she gets back, she has videos of them playing in the yard, and she said the yard looks exactly oh the same. Oh my god, I she, can't wait. It's gonna to be see that's this. gonna be yeah. crazy watching that. <clears throat> it's crazy. Do you want to see the picture that she sent? This is the original like listing from when they sold it. Oh no, no, no color. Oh my god. That's your guys' house. I can't wait for her to show us pictures of the inside. That's what I'm dying yeah. to see. I need to see the like the kitchen. I need to look at that kitchen. Yeah. Oh my god. So this whole kitchen was so sick. Oh, totally. I would love just to be a crazy person though <laughs> and go up to the house and be like, I lived here. Oh, just because right? you're curious. Oh, this is different. We used to have <laughs> this wall here. Yeah. The people are like, oh, okay. Just oh come my up God. with yeah. just but I live we should for do, that. That's I live really for those funny. people. Like people should do. I know there's there's creeps and crazy people in the world now, but that should be a normal thing. Yeah. Oh God, I would die. Like I was going back to the Denny house. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> but not it's, much it's has only changed. been a couple years. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we come back and it's like it's still the same well it, no shit it's, it's still, still the little peanut pellets, pellets. <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> there probably is oh though. 100 the they're thing. still finding him like to it's this like day, static I'm sure. on the walls yo i remember being so pissed at elton for that shit i was so <laughs> angry explain it to the folks we uh so our buddy elton he lived with us he lived with me he todd and scott he did a prank where he put a bunch of packing peanuts throughout our entire house bedrooms and everything a bunch is an understatement it was four feet high stuff to the was brim it fun 
It was fun for the first 10 minutes. Then you're like inhaling it. Like, and then you're just like, oh man, oh man, like what are we going to do now? And I and remember when you try to clean it, it would break apart. Yeah. And turn into like smaller, no. smaller it was, pieces. Oh, like the little balls that, yeah. s- that stick to the wall. It was in the bathroom. Yes. It was in Todd's room. Like the imagine drawers. just like what you have in your oh, room. No. He didn't touch my room because my room was a disaster. So I would have lost like half the things in there. These packing <laughs> penis were all in my room. So you didn't touch wow. my room. Just throw the room away. Yeah, Dude. just start over. Buy a new house. <laughs> Zane's, Zane's room was like... Uh, you know that scene in Star Wars where they're like in the... Uh... Yes, and it's getting closed in. <laughs> All the junk <laughs> is <laughs> rising. It was just like, yeah. There was just things living in or Zane's escape room. room. Or escape room when the entire room is closing. But yeah. like halfway, oh that's what it looked like yeah. when everything's just destroyed and on the floor. Oh my gosh. Remember when a horse pissed in my fucking bedroom? What that was so no, funny. No, I don't remember because I wasn't born. You weren't a born? horse pissed in your bed? Yeah, oh. it was so fucking cute and pissed all over my, my bedroom. That shit was hilarious. That was Midnight Star. I think that was her name. Sounds about she right. She had a little purple star on her ass. Mm-hmm. Well, the, we, <laughs> no. the, I don't like horses where like the hairs died and stuff. I don't like pets where the hairs died. I thing. think it's like safe die though. It's safe, but it's it's weird. Don't fuck. It. Just let them be. An- they're hey. animals. They're wild animals. Let them be animals. Wild. Okay. Should let's I be- calm down. Should I? <laughs> should I bleach my hair? Why, man? Yeah. Why is I this don't, a daily for, question? I, I know why you like to bleach your hair, but sometimes when I see you with the bleached hair, it's when you get really red, it looks really crazy. Like you seeing white hair and red face. I think it's more noticeable because your I hair's was so tanning white. back then because of my psoriasis. <laughs> I, I guess need a compilation I, I of looks... Matt saying psoriasis and rosacea. <laughs> <laughs> psoriasis. When Matt, when you had that shit like all over your body, that was that was bad, I and know. it happened for so long. Too. I, when we were on the cruise, it was miserable. Yeah, that's why I had to get vaccinated. It was itchy, right? <laughs> You've been uh, pretty good with it. Yes, because I haven't gotten strep throat. I uh, thought you took shots to like for it not to happen again. No, that suppresses my immune system. Oh, okay, and so the, my psoriasis stops overreacting. So I make myself, because my body keeps thinking it's sick when it's not sick. Yeah. So I had to take Humira and Cosentix. What's psoriasis again for the people listening? Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease. You can either have it chronic or short, or short term. There's very different. There's a lot of different types of psoriasis. I suffer from gutate psoriasis. And usually that happens after I get strep throat. In mm-hmm. two weeks after I get strep throat, my body still thinks it's fighting off an infection. And I'll have these splotches that will take over. And Heath, what is so funny? <laughs> I keep, I'm having this vivid memory of you talking about this exactly the same way. And Zane being like. <laughs> where, where were we? I, what, where were we? I I were think, at the Vancouver I, I was, airport. The no, Vancouver I airport. Was I almost had a, bro- I had a breakdown in the Vancouver airport. Because I'm like, guys, look at this. Look at my arms. Look you at did, my chest. Dude, you're panicking. I, I remember I took like four Benadryl. And I'm just like, I'll see you guys in LA. It, it was scary <laughs> because it sh- the shit wasn't going away. Yeah. It just kept, it just stayed. And it would not go away. And I'm like, dude, this is like. This is bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll send a picture to Mariah to show it for the people of what Thank it. You. I'll I'll never forget going in the Vancouver airport and taking a picture of it and then texting Stoss because Kim Kardashian has psoriasis <laughs> and I'm like and I'm like Stoss, get me in contact with whoever Kim knows because this is getting out of hand. I need it right now and I need the good shit. It's yeah. a celery juice shot. <laughs> Why you got juice. all those bumps? <laughs> you got X. You got psoriasis. Psoriasis, but um. Um, no, why? How do we even get on? Oh, that's Where why I was standing. Oh, but speaking speaking of the old like historical stuff, what what do we what do we have here with World War II bomb? Oh, um, you guys didn't hear about what happened to this college in England. I'm pretty sure it's a college called Exeter. They found a bomb on their campus that was from World War One, and they had they were doing construction and they came across the bomb. Everybody they at the college up. had to evacuate the campus, oh my evacuate God. their dorms, all the local apartments, and they all went like a few miles out and looked at what did I, was that weird? Yeah, did you see that? Up. It splashed, but there's only this much in it. Hmm. Oh my God, was that Woo. was that was juice? It juice? Oh my God, <laughs> juice. the cords just fell. Juice Newton. <gasps> Oh, no, watch your head. Oh, Juice Newton. The ju- <laughs> <laughs> Call me Angel. <laughs> oh, my God. The juice and the funny is going to hit different now. Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> good, Zane. Very good. Oh, I hated the smirk I just did. Oh, God. Cut that. Wait, I, I was like, 
<laughs> Nailed um, it. Because so <laughs> I never get that. I never get that type that of feedback. From hey, guys, guys, can we just take a few steps back in the conversation? Circling back C- to Circling back. What where... was I talking about? <laughs> the people listening, they're like, oh, my God, the fucking huh? bomb. Go. Oh, the bomb. Exeter. They evacuated all the dorms, the campus, the local apartments, yeah. went a few miles out, and they had to detonate the bomb, and the bomb just exploded. Not what? massive, what? not like a nuclear bomb. Oh, shit. But like that, oh, I want to see. Oh, my see. God. So the land where this college campus is used to be an area that was a part of heavy, heavy warfare during World War One, And so some bombs were dropped in this area that never detonated. Can Damn. you imagine there are bombs are there that are more? around you that have never detonated that are could be just no just imagine like imagine it it blew up but like nobody knew about this bomb you know what i mean yeah people would have thought it was like a fucking terrorist attack Luckily. like they would they would have never found it would they gotta be, able, be more would they be able to find out that this bomb They'd was like probably an old find bomb some shrapnel yeah and be able to figure it out that's World fucking War insane One. wait what are you wait what are you asking like like if, if it bomb just randomly went it off killed without everybody. them detonating it. It killed everybody in the in the building. I bet they have like different procedures for like construction because they know that they're in like a type of old war zone. It, uh, whatever they did, I, it, it's just crazy to me. How do you have like a bulldozer thing like moving it and be like, what wait, wait, job. wait, hold it. Yeah. This is a bomb. And it was active. How does a bomb stay active for that long? For it's that long. Fucking That's insane. Crazy. You know, there's so many also landmines out in Vietnam That's, yeah, the from the Vietnam mines. War that People have still never... die by just like stepping on it. Yes. Like, it's... <gasps> Thank gosh we do not live like in an old war zone, you know, with Fuck. landmines. That's really scary. Did you see the explosion in. Ontario, California. Uh, the person who was stocking the up fireworks? all the fireworks. The oh yeah 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 that was the, it was like eight eight houses. That was, that was fucking it was insane. Close to where we did the hot air balloon. <laughs> really? Can you imagine if we saw that while we were up there. Oh my gosh! The fireworks go through <gasps> wow. your fucking hot air balloon. Stop. And then that gave me an idea: a firework scented candle. Mm, no. Okay, I do like the idea of like a Fourth of July scent. You know, yeah. All I'm smelling is rocket pops. Mm, ro- oh, a oh. rocket pop candle and it has like the different a, ooh, layers. Okay, rocket pop with like a little hint of mustard, like a bit of spice. <laughs> okay, can I ask like a, some hot dog? Can I ask a dumb question? Sure. That's here, we're baby. All, all, all your questions are dumb. But go so ahead, you baby. have a candle, right? Right. And then the wax melts. No, oh, here we go. Don't. So you've thought about it. <laughs> we all have. <laughs> you have the wax and it melts, mm-hmm. and okay. then it could like solidify again. But like, is it evaporating? Is like. Wouldn't it just melt and then reform and then just itself? Reform, and then it would be a never-ending candle. Why does it empty? I can't out? answer that. It's a. I think it's evaporated. But then you have candles that will like, like melt this over heat the edge make and then it evaporate. Yeah. But then I've also seen a candle that is set up so when it melts, it'll like drip down, and then you could like flip it over and relight it, and like it's a. There's candles like almost that? like an infinity candle. Yeah. So like, it's like it's a gas or wherever the wick is burning, and that is what's releasing the wick. That's what's burning. With the, fingers. Oh, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> as the wick burns, the wax goes down. Right. 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 I don't actually. Hurry know. up, make something. Yeah, I'm up. trying to. I, I, I want it to be like when I made up what water towers were, and, and I was actually sense. right. <laughs> so I want to try to get it right. Um, you know what? I'm very curious. As you, but people, we've been lighting candles since the beginning of time. Well, if you burn a fire log, where did the log go? Where did the wood go? It burned. It's, it's ash. It's ash, but like you're telling me the whole log just goes into ash? Yeah, it's wood. Yeah, I, I mean. Go ahead. Let's get a lighter, Devin. <laughs> Don't it, it what's the only thing camera. that can evaporate? What's the only thing that can evaporate? Water? Is water the only thing? <laughs> Yo. Your face. What water? Yeah, are, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. I but there's a reason. I just haven't Googled it. It doesn't keep me up at night. There's a reason why we God. don't talk about shit. Like this. We got him. We stumped the Schwab. We got you him. You see boy. how we tread these type of waters? We're just like, uh, we just start combining everything we can do Same. to try to not look stupid. <laughs> well, this oh. uh, this podcast is sponsored by. <laughs> can this podcast Wick? just be like 15 minutes long? Can we do Let's like experiment? Out. Can we do themes? Like, like the, dress up? Yeah. I mean, not, we, like, we've tried it before. You guys have? Halloween. Yeah, like Christmas? A no, sweater. But it would be fun to do like really in weird holidays and stuff. Yeah, we could. I just can't come up with any. 
jungle thing. Oh, I have so much St. Patrick's Day. We could have been a leprechaun. I wore green pants. Oh, the guy plays the Irish. What's clearer than crystal and stronger than steel? You know, you, you know what can make the dumb things. talk? What can make the lame walk? Pete, What's the elixir? We're watching. We're like, he puts on Jeopardy a lot now. He just has it playing. He knows 95% of the Your fucking answers. Them? Heath, it's Why insane. Why don't you go on Jeopardy? And I'm just like, yo, my, uh, Matt, just go on the show. You would fucking kill it. He's like, yeah, okay. but they don't do like, because normally Col they do like theme shows. Okay, on College Jeopardy, I'm a top contender. Top contender. But you're not in college. Um, regular Jeopardy, I make it second or third. Why? I will not Is it win. just harder questions? Like, Yes, what? it's oh, really okay. harder questions. College Jeopardy, I can, uh, I'm... I dominate. You have to be in a college to do the college Jeopardy? I think that they should make an influencer version of Jeopardy. That would be incredible to watch. Mm. I'm surprised I would love they haven't to watch done that. an influencer right. family feud. We, we do should do this on another segment. This is Another segment? Or just like for another time, talk about... We'll give him no. college ones and us are smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> yes. And we, we've already known that we can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yes. No, let's. Not. We No, Devin and I have talked about this. We should do that on another date. You're just okay. trying to embarrass us, Matt. Mariah, I you actually think want to do it again. We have to redeem ourselves. Can I say something? People think like... Like, oh, Matt just thinks he's so smart. He's Mr. College Boy. Maybe Guys, I'm smart. an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just happen to be you know, a fun sponge. Facts. I'm a sponge for stuff that I'm interested in. I do not know everything. I am not the smartest person he's in the room. He's book smart, not street smart. We know that. Sure. But there are also some book stuff I do not know. Like, it's dense in certain areas, but I just, for the record, I I don't think I know everything. We don't think you know everything, but you do know a lot of things. Yes, but I know, but I think some people think like Matt, Matt just I mean, thinks he knows them. everything. If they're gonna judge you for knowing too many things. That well, means they, just... people got mad. I, I thought Germany. Jealous. They drove on the other side of the road in Germany, and they did it. <laughs> Fuck them. They're just hey, these people that are you didn't know that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> What's the road in Germany where there's no the speed autobahn? Limit? Okay, he's good. He knows his automotive. What is the autobahn? So we were Did gonna you... ask what Matt is... Jeopardy questions, but we wanted to save it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna one. save because... that for another time. And... And, and then, add in, are you smarter than a fifth grader questions from I me and Mariah? I will not be participating. I will not be participating. You have to participate in it, Mariah. I don't need people to confirm and and remind me that I'm an idiot. Well, last time we did that. <laughs> <laughs> that he, Mariah and I had a bad couple of days after that video. Yeah, that was pretty It definitely rough. puts you in, a, in check. Yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I think my problem is I don't. Even in school, I don't ask questions when I don't know something because I'm embarrassed that I don't know it. But that's that's what learning is. You ask questions and There's I don't no do it because thing I'm like, dumb question. if I if I realize that everyone else around me knows what's going on and I don't, I'm embarrassed to ask. So I won't do it. But usually the moment when you ask, what does that word mean or what does that mean? That's the moment where you really remember it. I just oh, I just didn't care what I was learning about. I only cared about the things that I had fun with, like math was a lot of fun because I was able to just understand everything, even the hardest math questions. I was able to understand it and understanding something was fun to me, but like, like English, Spanish, everything, like it just like, I just wasn't interested in it. So I didn't care to learn it. Yeah. Like I liked history. I was yeah. good at history. Yeah. I, I, I like I, math because it's, it. it's definitive. Like, yeah. There's yeah. always an answer. You right. can get it right. I don't like the whole interpretation stuff with yeah. English that it's just like yo baby I fucking soared in the SATs for the math but what English what color is math? blue <laughs> Bro, mine, don't I probably I probably have the Guinness world record of the, <laughs> the where is this going? Wait, go on. Yeah. Are you about to say you had the Guinness World Record of the highest math no, SAT no, score? No, no, I had the highest score in math, but the lowest score in English. I give me uh, no The sense. biggest difference? The biggest difference in scores between <laughs> both both tests. Like A and F? Like English, I had like a fucking five. And then math, I was on 1450. I was just, I soared in the math one. And the English one, I was just <laughs> like... Just like <laughs> Because I can't read and then answer questions <laughs> about what I just read. Are you dyslexic? I'm a lot of things. I have no idea. I think you may be dyslexic. I was not you've properly never, You've never really created. had to like sit down and read something in a <laughs> oh, while. No. Tate will be like, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you've been avoiding just large Everything. things of text. No, I'm Everything. the same way. If I have a lar if someone gives me a large paragraph, I go straight to the end first. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Or, you I'll read, I no, literally I'll read the first word, the second word then i drop to the bottom no, tell, and try to put the pieces together what i think it says yeah <laughs> that's how i read right, tell me you didn't do this on the english test you'd read
read the question and you would go and look for the question. <laughs> Try to find the word. <laughs> yeah. I, plead, yeah. the, I plead the fifth. The, I plead the fifth. Yeah. That's so I'll good. I'll see one word in the question and I'd be like, okay. Apology. Oh, I, I would apology, take the, pam- the, the the little short the short story they give you and I'd, I'd kick back. <laughs> Just read it. Turns his book light a little bit more. Yeah, so nothing was inter- It wasn't interesting. We had me. a good. We, I couldn't uh, contain information. I could not yeah. contain it. I uh, would. I would try. I really would try, but nothing would be going on. It would yeah. literally be everything right over my head. I'd be thinking of too many other things. So before he calls <laughs> idiots, what the hell is for dinner? Before he calls <laughs> idiots, really just sit there and think. I've always had like a really hard time read. Like I can read something and I'll be like saying the words in my head and I'm like reading it in my brain. <laughs> yeah. And I know, like I know what I'm reading, <laughs> but I'm having a completely different thought at the same time. In your time. head, you're like, I'm reading. I am reading this book. No, I am turning, <laughs> I'm turning this no, page. Yes. No, yes. Yes. I, just, like, I wow. just read the word. I don't put it together <laughs> what it's supposed to say. I'm just like. Yeah. I think well, I think one day Matt gave me a book to read, and I was reading for ten minutes, and the entire time while I was reading, I was going, "I'm, I'm reading. reading a book. I'm reading a book. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it." And then when you finish, these, these two old oh, look, look at me. Look no, at like me. I can I can read a sentence, and it'd be like the green towel was blah blah blah, and I'm stuck on green towel. My eyes will still be going, but then I'm like, "Oh, I have a green towel in the bathroom." Yes. Did you ever have to like after reading a page? You have to you have to turn it back and reread the page because no, no, you no. blocked out. You know how I know I don't retain anything and I know I'm a bad reader is if I put a book down and I don't have a bookmark and I try to go back and find my place. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing looks familiar. Nothing looks I'm familiar. like. <laughs> Where the fuck was I? That's and me I, driving to the same store every single day, and I'm like, this doesn't look familiar at all. I'm there every day. <laughs> I can talk about this for hours. <laughs> it, it, oh, comfortable, right? I can talk you, about being an idiot for hours. Do you for guys hours. put? Do you guys put the phone like GPS on to go like? down the street like somewhere you clearly know where to go but it's just like i'm annoying with it i i don't like doing it because i want to remember like where i'm going like i, I know i want to figure it, it out it depends off if it depends on if i'm in a time crunch oh, where i'm yeah. like if I'm i want rush. to get home what's the fastest way yeah i can usually jive and like figure it out yeah i know how to get to the burbank shopping center mm-hmm but every time I put I put GPS in. Oh, because yes, all this it's become starts it starts becoming like a grid but system. But I don't, up there. I don't yeah. remember like, any names. Oh, I turn on yeah. Magnolia, right? And it's like, nope, you should have turned. Yeah, is it right or left? I know it's on the. And block, I think we just right know left? that when you put it in maps, it, it takes you the fastest route. You don't want to yeah. take the same route bec- because think, it could I be think a longer route. In my route. head, I'm like. I could get it wrong and I could miss a turn, but if I put it in, I know it's like you'll never miss a turn. Like, why not just do it and then it's right there? I can look and just double check my work. Yeah. There's times where I'm ballsy, and if I'm like 30 minutes from the house, I'll and I have all, the rest of my day, I'm like, I can figure it out. That's, and I'll a, guess. that's fun. You but should do that. But there's times like I th- like when you lived in Porter Ranch, there was times where like I would dr- I would try to figure my way back. And it would take She'd me like be late, two hours. Minutes. I would be I driving hated around driving for two hours. I Porter Ranch. Because you go down a highway, but then there was another highway and there was like another one too. Uh, yeah, there was like three or four different shit, uh. fucking highways you have to take. But like uh, uh, to... To piggyback off. To piggyback <laughs> off what you were saying. Stop. What the fuck? Devin had to drop me off because I didn't, I didn't have my car. And I'm like, you know what? Well, I don't need a GPS. We missed the fucking turn. <laughs> missed the fucking turn. It's also a little it, more frustrating in LA because if you miss a turn, you're you're gone for 10 more minutes. Oh, yeah. You miss an exit, you're fucked. Yeah. Oh, if I miss an exit, I will put it in reverse before I, before I go to the next one. <laughs> On the freeway. You're like, you're like... <laughs> no, uh, well, Vicky would do it. Well, Vicky would do it. Well, since y'all love to learn. You want, know what I, you want to know what I learned? Yeah. What'd you learn, Zane? Okay, when when you're like when you're watching the news and the news says that there's a thirty percent chance of rain, what do you think that that means? I would say there's exactly what a thirty percent chance. chance that it's gonna rain, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what it's we all the thought. odds. That's it's what, the odds. Exactly, that's what I thought too. So when it says thirty percent chance it's gonna rain, it's a hundred percent chance that it's gonna rain, but. Only 30% of your area is going to rain. Like 30% of the whole area is going to rain. Why wouldn't they say it like that instead of saying there's a 30% chance of rain? Why don't they be like, it's going to rain today. 30% of the area is going to be covered or something. Um, I, Because I don't. I guess, I guess 30% of the area. 
It, that's your chance. That's, though. Your, yeah. that's your chance. Like it makes sense, but it doesn't at the same time. Because it can be cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Right. <laughs> it's not not funny. It's gonna rain. I get it. But the chances of it raining in, in your, your area, thirty percent. If they can see that a bunch of rain is coming in from the east well, how towards big LA, is the area, the LA area, but LA it could County? hit. But it could hit Long Beach. L.A. County? I don't know. Wherever they're like Probably the L- city of Los Angeles. I well, I bet with the weather. The <laughs> We're weather. Not are, we going, are, we going, are we going Burbank? Weather app on your phone. I bet knows the your, the exact zip code you're in and will tell you thirty percent or twenty percent. That's a good theme. We should dress up like the Anchorman cast. Oh I'll yes, the, we I'll all wear suits fun. and stuff. Very good. We give reports. The Browns and the mustard. We do green screen all around. Oh my gosh, I would love that. It'd be the girl in the pencil skirt. Very good. I Next like week, that. When we have Will Farrell on. We we can only get the what? guy across the street. <laughs> Is that happening? No. What? Will Farrell? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, I saw a TikTok that was pretty TikTok. I saw a TikTok. <laughs> I saw a TikTok. I saw I saw a TikTok <laughs> recently saying that was pretty disgusting. What was it? Um, it Please was a clip it. from the show Dirty Jobs. Do you remember that? Yeah. Do you yeah. remember the show Dirty that Jobs show. and Mike Rowe and he would do like yeah. dirty things? They when you flush your toilet after you after you use it, <laughs> a bunch of particles, shit. you should shut the lid of your toilet before you hit flush. Because after you after you use your toilet and you hit that flush button uh-huh. and it's still open, the particles go everywhere. Everywhere, Zane. On your clothes, on your walls, on your toilet paper, on your toothbrush. Why do I that not That doesn't care? matter. It's, it's I've like had a the fart. lid open my entire life, and I live to tell about it. It's like a fart. You know what I mean? It's like farts yeah, are nasty when you think that's about. That's a gas. Like, that is some stank shit that just came out of your <laughs> asshole and is now being <laughs> inhaled into my nostrils. It's a gas. Doesn't matter. That came out of your butt. Like when you really think he about it. The- well, that's, that's why I out. always get disgusted when he fucking toots into the microphone. It is so gross when you really think Dude, about yeah, it. Yeah, but like in the end of the day, you don't. It's like yeah, it's on you, but like you don't smell it, you don't see it. You, who really cares? <laughs> see it. It's funny because I had that thought though when I just went to the bathroom, I flushed the toilet. And my drink was there, and I was like, oh, I heard about the poop particles, whatever. <laughs> and then I came walking out, and then we just talked about it. Well, in the episode, they did the black light, and they flushed the toilet with the particles, and then showed the black light, and it, dude, it was everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's human nature. It's fine. Whatever. It's like it's like when you drop an M M&M and M on the like floor, you rules. pick it up. Five second you, rule. Yeah. yeah. I don't like these new discoveries. You shouldn't do this because this. I'll do what I want. All right, for the people, send off in the comments. Who likes to shit? <laughs> <laughs> Who likes to close it? Let's I have now vote. closed the toilet every time I've used it you really? since that TikTok. Come on, I think about it every time. It proper manners. It's not manners. It's just like I really don't give a shit. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. Very god. good, Matt. I'm sorry. Okay, well, we want to bring the segment back. Um, it's our Florida news segment. Do, 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 There's just do, new, new shit do, happening. There's always do, something do, in Florida. Do. We could do this every day, but we just forget Ladies to do and it. gentlemen, you are tuning in to the Florida Man news segment, where every episode we bring you a bit of Florida news. A man who's in... I'm, I'm completely just uh, I like vamping. It. I like it. I like the All right, intro whack it. Florida news. Thank you, Devin, our <laughs> news source word. researcher who has brought us all of these different headlines and highlights of Florida news. I want to do the prompter test. I know. All right. Florida man does cannonball into giant fish tank at the Bass Pro Shop. It's got to oh, be. Yes, I knew it. it. This is in a fucking... Oh, would you pull this up from 2012? Is this recent? I've never heard of this. <laughs> As you know, at a Bass Pro Shop, there's a huge aquarium where it's like kind of open. It's yeah. giant. Yes. I remember this used to be a thing in like the 2000s <laughs> of the kids. You would run in and jump into yeah. the aquarium. Yeah, it happens all the time. Would you do it? Um, nah. Honestly, I'd be scared because there's some big ass fish that are in that tank. Yeah, should what we, are you doing? Should we roll clip? Tank? I just don't yeah. want to roll clip. Caught here. on camera. Caught on camera. Love that. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh he's climbing kid. the stone wall. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh cannonball! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What was the guy with the pole who was like, Wait, "Whoa, oh, how did he get, out, get out, out of that?" That's tough glass. Wait, no, play it. Whoa! Dude. If I had to pull myself up, I'd have to get my chest over, throw a leg. And then shimmy. Yeah, but you're that, underwater. You're lighter. Uh, that glass. It, it would looked like bust. he walked over it. Jumps in. <laughs> okay, great. And out. He just pulled himself up. 
smooth. I'm surprised he got his feet up there. I bet your adrenaline kicks in after you do a big no no like that, and you're just out. Like oh, I want to see even... him land and like. Slip. You, you want to see him get hurt, huh? Mm-hmm. I love the dude who's like holding the uh, the pole. He's like ah ah. Get, get, get. Look, look at this guy with the pole. He's going to stop. Like, what is he going to do? He's going to like spear, spear him. him? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next. Florida man sentenced. <laughs> See, I already know what happened because I read the last sentence. Oh, Flor- <laughs> Florida man sentenced 20 years in prison, $251,000 fine after cutting off wife's lover's penis. Well, hold on. So this guy, Alex. A Florida With man scissors. was accused of breaking into scissors. homes of his wife's lover and cutting off the, his penis with scissors, and he has pled guilty. You know how hard it would be to cut, cut my with, penis off with scissors? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot What of, kind of scissors are we talking about? We're not talking about, like, paper scissors. Guard, like, just garden, <laughs> garden shears. Garden shears. I feel like it, it would have said in here shears, you know what I mean? What if it was the crazy scissors with, like, the jagged... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the design. Oh, remember, like, the, the wig design. Design. That's all he could find. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, just like safety ones. Like, oh god, it would take <laughs> like thirty minutes. Funny. Or those ones that used to have Sewing that little, ones. the little the rubber, rounded, or the, the kind of the rubber tip. that you would like kind of pick oh, at. Yes, yeah, you would peel yeah, it. Yeah, just kind of yes. cozy. and it would be, be just like silver underneath. Yeah. Like flat wow. Metal. How do you hold somebody down? Well, so yeah, he, he back have. in 2019, he caught uh, the a man having sex with his wife in his house. And a few days later, he went into the home, who happened to be his neighbor, tied the man at gunpoint, completed the gruesome mm. act with skizzers. Tr- trigger <laughs> trigger warning for wow. the men. Don't, penis cutting. I know. We never hear about like your penis. Penis is getting cut it's, off. It just makes you. Oh, my God. Two, okay, wait. Two girls, one cup. That's something else. I think everybody should watch that because that is just unbelievable. <laughs> That's a it's riot. A cinematic, it's a riot. cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> it is a roller coaster. And the music. Oh. Uh. It's, have you ever seen the TikTok where like someone who's pouring like uh they're pouring like something that looked like shit in a cup and they played the music and everybody was just freaking out. I feel like out. if something like that came out nowadays, it wouldn't even be like. Oh no! I, I, it would it, just be what's like, weird is like I feel like I haven't seen any of that stuff since then. I wonder if like we're just older now and we don't like hear oh. it. I think there's people out there making videos like that still. Hundred percent. Did you see Two Girls One Cup? I never watched it. Do you, what happens in Two Girls yes. One Cup? I don't. I don't She's know. never just, seen. I it. know, but use your imagination. What happens? Hmm. Um, I, I there's like shitting involved, right? Yes. Yeah, that's so, all I know. But it's two girls and and a cup. So yeah. <laughs> okay. What, so what do you what do you think happens? This is like paint a picture. <laughs> I don't know. They shit into the cup on top of it. I don't know. I have no idea. Just like really, I can't even really like come up with something. something. Come on, no, yeah. <laughs> Mariah, uh-huh. just use your brain. Oh God, I can't even come we, up we, with we something. We recreated like a drunk history. It's Mariah's version of two, <laughs> <laughs> two girls, I one cup. I love drunk okay, history. Okay, so this I is your. I love it. I know you're not drunk. I'm sober. But, I'm but I'm so Mariah, cold. just paint, paint a saying, fucking picture. Paint a picture can't. and say there's two. God. You already got one the part right. The thing is, like my 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 sense of humor is so opposite of that. I can't even come up with we something like funny. It's not funny. Nobody watches two no, girls one cup. No, you don't understand. Zane, you have to understand me right now. My brain is empty. I'm like two girls one cup. They shit inside the cup. That's all I got. <laughs> there you go. You're halfway there. All right, that's all I got. No, I can't even be like. Oh, I don't know. They threw it at each other. I don't know. <laughs> that's not funny. Just, yeah. It's not funny. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's not like, funny. It's, it's, it's every, crazy. To the people who are listening I who just have, have seen no it, interest. I highly discourage it. If you haven't seen it, do not watch it. I mean. Do not. I don't. Know. I think back then it was just it was actually it was disgusting, but now it's just it seems more normal. <laughs> I just like the idea of her what, version. Do they eat it? It's two girls pooping a cup. They're like, that's it. They, there you they go. Ate it? Yeah, they, they very it. cool. It's not cool, Mariah. We don't, we don't find them. It's just it, it was a video that came out. Yeah, when we it's were, absurd. We it's were absurd. kids when this video came out, so we were just like, what? oh my god. Mariah's like the director going, very cool. (laughs) Very cool. (laughs) And then they eat it. (laughs) Very cool. Mariah's like, sorry, I don't like what you guys like. He's like, we don't like it. No, I know. <laughs> I just, like, even when it was popular, like I just never wanted to look it up. I just wasn't interested in the hype. I don't know. Just from hearing what it was about, no, I was just like, like nah. yo, you got it too. <laughs> like, no, yeah, but no, everybody's seen it. I think so. Everybody, no one, everyone's nobody, on your side. Yeah, I'm saying, right, everyone's on my side, but I act, I've never <laughs> looked it up. Everybody else has looked it up. Like I, I didn't I look know. it up. Somebody like was like, "Have you seen?" See, this? it was one of those things where I was like, "Yo, bro, look, look at this funny video." And the link, you go to two girls, one cup. 
It was one of those type of things. Right. Okay, so That's... Florida Department of Law Enforcement arrested a mother and daughter for illegal access to hundreds of students of accounts. The FDLE says the access was used to rig the homecoming queen vote at Tate High School in Pensacola. Okay, wait a second. Why is this that high big school, of a deal? Right. It's hi- it's a high school pageant. There's no money involved. I want This is <laughs> serious, Zane. Mama, it's... am I not good enough? You better be, sweetheart. We're gonna, <laughs> you're going to be the Pensacola a pageant queen it's homecoming like homecoming school mom it's not even that's not even a pageant how do oh I... it's homecoming with that homecoming scandal in florida an elementary school assistant principal and her daughter arrested for allegedly hacking student accounts casting hundreds of fake votes to elect the daughter homecoming queen tj Stop the counts! <laughs> you think about fixing a high school election, it conjures up images of stuffing ballots in a box in a cafeteria. But in this case, the kids at this high school voted via a headline news. They voted virtually for homecoming queen. And that's where this story goes from being maybe just a shame to being a crime. Police say the mom and daughter had to illegally access accounts of hundreds of students, accounts that had a lot of personal information of those students, okay, all so the daughter could wear the crown. Oh my god. So oh, imagine oh, cheering for oh it my god. after you just fucking rigged it. And she was an assistant principal? Just not even worth uh, it. I just I just want to know was it the mom or the daughter who was like it's the mom? But the mom was like, let me hack into the mainframe, sweetie. She, she was, was bragging bad. about it. It is not, That's not even worth it. And they did it to win. To win the crown. If Honestly, a- I got to kind of applaud that. Of course. You They're do. not doing that for money or any gain. They're doing it for the clout. For the clout. For the clout. For, for oh. you, son of a bitch. For some oh. Pensacola points. Show me the good old, the breaking the crown in half. and uh, Yeah. Or she wins. She does this wins, and then she pulls that shit after. Guys, this isn't just my crown. It's fucking just the... It's ours. It's ours. Were you nominated? But... No, they had... I don't know um, if every school is like this. I didn't expect it. You have to be in a certain amount of, like, clubs, and you have to have a certain, like... Oh. Not GPA. There's like it was people that would like um serve the school and stuff like that. They would use those pick those people. Oh, so, so you couldn't do it on just popularity. Right. It wasn't popular. You had to do it on service. I, a, I thought it was always popularity. It. Well, that's why I said like my school was, was probably a little different. I won twice. Oh, well, you won King? homecoming. Qu- I King? won homecoming prince two years in a row. Oh. What happened to oh. King? King. Well, you they didn't like the idea. They, they didn't like the idea of Matt King being <laughs> king, so they got to give it to Leonard Williams. He ran a great campaign. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Imagine passing all buttons just to win out fucking homecoming. Guys, oh, I came for uh, King. I, I don't take pride in that at all. Yeah, you by do. any means. Yeah, you do. You're a prince. You were a prince. The, the parade. The parade. <laughs> I, knew, I fucking the knew parade it. On the fucking the, I gotta say, there was nothing cooler than getting out of school early, sitting in the back of a Mustang, and waving at. The Wait, town. you guys did that? Oh, My mom I feel always like talked was... about. So she went to our same high school. Yeah. And it was the whole like just everybody's convertible, and everybody just sat on top, yeah. and they yep. would drive I've around. I've never through. seen that. Or shit. like they would do cop cars, like cool cop cars and stuff like it that. Usually, it was somebody whose dad worked at the local Ford dealership, and they would donate the cars. They didn't do that when we were in school. No, we didn't get shit. Get Guys, if you right. went to South Plantation High School, we want to know. We want to know you went there because we want to see how the fuck it's doing right now. I saw. The, I, I, I want to walk in. I sometimes go on too. like the Instagram and like check in. I go on my high. School school's instagram too i, I found the, high schools have instagrams yes Most of them i found are. my vice principal at my high school was following me on instagram and I, I just got curious and i opened up the message thing and it was like matt we'd love to have you on the website yeah like, my teachers dm me too yeah. oh art school did not would never do that for us our, te- <laughs> our, our teachers don't want to associate with no. us <laughs> did we- zane and heath go here we all graduated 2011 right so. 2012 mm. 2011? 2010. Oh, 10, you're 11, a great I'm, I'm, I'm a great older than you Remember guys. Whoa, the whole that's. Thing? You're like, if this is in high school. <laughs> Pete, that's pretty crazy that he was a grade older than a uh, grade over us. Wait, why? I don't know. Like, no, I always funny. see everybody here the same, As like equals. Yeah, but some oh, people are a little bit better. Yeah, I need to haze you guys. <laughs> are, are we all gonna go to our uh, high school reunions? Yeah. Ours Absolutely. got canceled. Well, because it was 2020. Oh shit! Because of Corona, so they're not gonna have it anymore. I don't know. I this gotta is, you check guys back are on in. Your tenure. This is, this is our your tenure. tenure. It happens this year. Oh, that's disgusting. Do we? Do, oh, do you want to go? You have to go. Would you go with Heath to the reunion? Would yeah. I invite her? <laughs> oh, 
Angela? I don't know if she would want to go. Yeah, I'm. Uh, we just talked about how interested I am in like. Can you come history. for as my date? I, I would like to see it. <laughs> I would like to see. The I would hallway. like to see it. I like uh. the beat. Well, guys, we're gonna end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in again. We love you guys so much. Um, you could check out the audio <laughs> version of this podcast. We post on Monday every Monday. And on Tuesday, every Tuesday, video form, uh, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Mm -hmm, that's Guys, right. who we're going to have as a guest next week? We've been having very good guests, and we want to keep it. Keep the good guests coming. We'll ask right? the people, who would you guys love to see? Ooh, good idea. We've never done yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, put in the comments who you really want to see in that fucking chair. I wish there was a way to vote. Well, yeah, but you can vote on comments. Someone someone puts a guest they want, and then everybody has to vote on it. Too. So, yeah, a survey. A survey. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What else we got going on in our lives? That's it. Any plug? You guys want to plug in anything? My phone. <laughs> very good. No. Best Golf Channel. Yeah, make sure to subscribe to Best Golf Channel. No, we got I want you to be the first guest. They're four. I I legit if you look at my Amazon purchases just now, I'm buying golf pants. Oh. Are you really? Yes. Do you have clubs? Uh no. Buy you should probably get clubs before pants. <laughs> yeah, buy me some too. I can't why? If you can afford the vaccine, you can afford my. I golf did not pants. pay for the vaccine. <laughs> you babe. stole it? No, I was given the vaccine. I, I don't know if this is a stupid question. Oh wait, but you don't pay for the vaccine? Am I an idiot? Why do you have to pay to get COVID tested, but you you don't? You don't have to pay to get COVID tested. Yeah, you do. For some certain sites and stuff, you did. Every time I got a COVID test, I've never paid for one. I paid one hundred and fifty bucks every time. I yeah. Paid. What? What? I would just go on the CDC website and go to the COVID test and wait in line for like 10 minutes and get tested. What, what, hold on. We're getting scammed. Damn. We weren't even doing real COVID tests. <laughs> we're probably doing rapid ones where they get the answers. Oh, uh, that's probably oh. what y'all were getting. Okay, oh, yeah. Because yeah, I had to take a couple for shit that I was doing. I know. <clears throat> well, anyways, guys. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love you so much. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.